Hello everyone. So today our discussion will be on unit two, structure of atom. We all know what is atom. So atom is the smallest unit in which matter can be divided without the release of electrical charged particles. We can say smallest unit of matter that has the characteristic properties of chemical element. So ancient uh, Indian and Greek philosopher they believe that atom is the smallest building block of matter. So therefore according to them, continued division of matter will ultimately yield atoms which could not be further divisible. So if we suppose a matter and then if we divide okay or break down this matter okay ultimately it will yield atom okay. So this atom cannot be further divisible or broken down. So according to them, okay, atom cannot be further divisible, okay. And atom, the word atom is derived from Greek word, okay, derived from Greek word. Which means um, cutable or non divisible. So they believe atom to be the smallest unit which cannot be uncutable, which cannot be cut or which cannot be divisible. So this uh, atomic theory of matter, okay, or this theory, okay, re remained for a long time, but was revived by scientists, okay, in 19th century. So the atomic theory of matter was first proposed by Dalton in a scientific basis. So. According to this uh, Dalton's atomic theory, we consider, okay, this theory consider the atom as the ultimate. So, according to uh, this theory, uh, this theory considered the atom as the ultimate particle of matter. So his theory was able to explain the law of conservation of mass, the law of constant composition, and law of multiple propor uh, proportions. However, this theory failed to explain why some substance like glass and ebonite, when wrapped with silk or fur, okay, are electrically charged. So this theory was unable to explain why they get electrically charged when rubbed by silk or fur. So, in this unit, we will discuss about the observation made by scientists, okay, in the 19th and 20th century. So, these observations and experiments made by scientists show that. Uh, atom consists of subatomic particles. Atom consists of subatomic particles such as electrons, neutrons, and protons. Okay, so this is the uh, structure to the structure of an atom. So, a lot of times people believe that atom is the uh, ultimate, okay, unit. But a new discovery shows that atom is further subdivided into electrons, neutron, and proton. So discovery of subparticles, subatomic particles. Under this, we we will discuss the discovery of electrons. So before going uh, further to the discovery of electrons, please note that. 
uh, not the behavior of charged particles So like chargers repel each other and unlike chargers attract each other. So you might have studied in your uh, high school class okay, about this like chargers repel each other and unlike chargers attract each other. This simply means that positive positive charge will repel. Or negative negative charge will repel each other but positive and negative charge will attract attract each other so experiments on electrical charge give an insight to the structure of atoms so uh, experiment done on electrical discharge okay through gases those experiments give an insight on the structure of atoms. So now we will discuss on those experiments done by scientists, okay, especially Faraday. Discovery of electrons. So uh, the experiment taken out, okay. was by using a glass tube okay or we call this as cathode ray discharge tube cathode ray discharge tube so in this tube there is two metal plates or electrodes or okay, yeah inside this glass tube and there is a vacuum pump okay to maintain the pressure of the gas and then this uh metal strip or electrode is connected to the okay voltage so electrical discharge okay is observed when there is low pressure and high voltage and high voltage so we will discuss uh, about this experiment so uh, what they do is they applied a low pressure here okay low pressure and then high voltage and what they observe is flow of current okay suppose if we place an ampere here there will be deflection okay deflections this means there is a continuous flow of current however this current is not observable okay with our naked eyes so they think that uh, it might flow from cathode or anode okay whether this flow of current is flowing from cathode or anode okay so they were of the thought that it might be flowing from this direction to here and then from this direction to here so what they do is they made a hole here okay in the cathode and then they place a phosphorescent coating here They made a hole here and they place a phosphorescent coating here. So when current flows, okay, this charged particle will go here and then strike this uh, coated plate and then a bright spot will be visible. But it was not the case here. Here, there was no observable change. So again, They made a hole here, okay, at the anode side. And what they observe is, okay, sorry, 
the put a phosphorescent plate okay made up of zinc sulfide so when high voltage and low pressure was applied okay it was of that observed that there was a bright spot here so this experiment shows that uh, there was flow okay flow of rays okay from this direction to here and this way travels in a straight direction straight direction and then as a result of this there was bright spot observed at the uh, end of the tube okay where zinc sulfide was coated so this experiment shows that there was flow okay of negative charge okay from here to here okay so this is also known as cathode ray tube so in the presence or absence of electric and magnetic field okay this ray okay deflect if you consider if you take a positive plate near here and negative plate near here so we observe that this there is a deflection okay toward positive charge showing that this is uh, this ray is or this is negative charge okay or we consider it as electrons in written in stroke form so there was flow of electrons okay from cathode to anode directions so under the influence of uh, electric or magnetic field there was deflections or and in absence of this electric and magnetic field you observe that the, there was a straight lines okay they move in a straight lines our further experiment were conducted uh, conducted to observe the behavior of this cathode ray so what they do is they change this uh, electrode and even the case okay present but there was no observable observable change in in the property or behavior of the ray so we conclude that it uh, this cathode ray does not depend upon the materials or the case okay so the behavior is not affected or changed by the uh, change of this material or case so we come to the conclusions that electrons we come to the conclusion that electrons are negative charge so in nature or oh, in our discussions okay in your lower classes we have discussed, discussed that for current to flow the, we need positive and negative terminal also and then through this experiment we know that electrons okay are negatively charged and then through this experiment uh, we come to know that atoms okay consist okay or is consists of electrons okay so we discover through this experiment a subatomic particle of atom which is electrons
So to summarize this experiment, cathode ray start from us uh, start from cathode and move towards the anode. So these rays are invisible, but their behavior can be observed with the help of certain kind of materials, okay, fluorescein or phosphorescein, which glow when heat by them, okay. So these rays, they are invisible, okay, but they glow when heat by uh, this ray. So since television ray are coated by these phosphorescent or fluorescent, okay, so we can observe, okay, as a result of this, we can observe the picture on the television screen. In the absence of electrical or magnetic field, these rays travel in a straight line. In the presence of electrical or magnetic field, the behavior of cathode rays are similar to that expected okay, from a negatively charged particle, suggesting that these cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles or electrons. The characteristics of cathode rays okay, or electrons do not depend upon the material of electrodes or the nature of the gas present in the cathode ray tube. So thus we conclude electrons are the basic constituents of atoms.